USS Enterprise, Captain's personal log. With most of our battle damage repaired, we're almost home. Yet, I feel uneasy. And I wonder why. Perhaps it is the emptiness of this vessel. Most of our trainee crew have been reassigned. Lieutenant Savick and my son David are exploring the Genesis planet, which he helped create. And Enterprise feels like a house with all the children gone. No, more empty even than that. The death of Spock is like an open wound. It seems that I have left the noblest part of myself back there on that newborn planet. Engage all the systems. Aye. Engaged. Clear all moorings. Cleared, sir. One quarter impulse power. One quarter impulse. Captain to the bridge. Yellow alert. I'm on my way. Alert. alert. Yellow, Yellow alert. alert. Off station. Yellow alert. Alert. Yellow, Yellow alert. alert. Off station. Yellow alert. One minute to space doors. Sir, Excelsior powering up with orders to pursue. Helm. One quarter impulse power. Thirty seconds to space doors. Warning, secure space doors. Warning, secure space doors. Warning, secure space doors. Warning, secure space doors. Now, Mr. Scott. Sir? The doors, Mr. Scott. Hi, sir. I'm working on it. Danger. Space doors are closed. Danger. Danger. Space doors are closed. Cleared space doors. Full impulse power. Ice. Stand by tractor beam. Tractor beam. Aye. Now he tries to get away with warp drive. <laughs> He's really in for a shock. Excelsior closing to 4,000 meters, sir. Scotty, we'll need everything you have. Aye, sir. Warp drive standing by. Kurt. You do this, you'll never sit in the captain's chair again. 